access and use Fancy at home. So once you're logged into Clever with your Clever badge or Google account, you're going to scroll down under multi subjects and select Buncee. Buncee is a great tool for students to create their own writing pieces at home, use it as a journal or add to assignments created by a teacher. So this screen is going to pop up and the students are going to select sign in with Google and they all have accounts that are linked with their Google account. They'll select their Huntington Gmail account. So once it pops up, their Buncees, if they have any, are going to load. But if they want to create a new Buncee, they're going to go to Create a New Buncee. This screen is going to pop up, and it's just because Buncee has, um, is constantly updating. They're going to click Create on Buncee 3.0. And this screen is going to pop up. And this is basically showing if you want to use a template for them to choose from. But I usually have my students start from scratch. So you'll see there's a blank page in front of you, and this is one of the pages that you could write on. On the side over here, it shows the different pages that there are. So if your student is creating a writing piece, they could add more than one page. So if, say I'm running a story that I want a couple pages for, I could add a couple over here. So Bunty has a bunch of great features that you could add to. First, I want to start by titling it um, My Journal or any type of title that you have for your writing piece. And when you select over here, you're going to change the background. You have a variety of different backgrounds that are going to pop up. So you could either select to choose a photo from the web, you could choose to add a color in the background, or you could upload your own picture. What I usually like my students to do is choose a color. That way, if they're writing on top of it, I can read the writing. So you could select if you want it to be on just this page alone. Every page can be a different color. They could put it on all pages. And it's really great because it allows students to be creative and create their own writing piece. So once you pick a background color, it's going to say you could add your first item. And as you can see, there's a variety of different options that the students have to add to this piece. So you could either add a text, which is if they're adding writing, they would select text like a text box on Google. You can move it around your screen. And if you double click, you could add words to it. So I might say Monday, if I'm starting my journal on Monday, and I could write the date up there. So um, let's start with today. So today is Thursday, and today is March 19th. So I'm going to put that down there. March 19th. So I can make this bigger and I can click off and move it to wherever I want on the screen. Then I could add, if I want to add more than just that to the page over here is where you can add your different items. So I would select the plus and from here you could add another text box. So if I'm going to do a writing today, I went to the park with my friends, whatever it might be. You could also add shapes over here and it, there's a variety of different shapes that you could add if they are just wanting to do a drawing or add some shapes. Um, you could also add, if you go back to the plus sign, a drawing if they want to draw their own thing. And down here you could see it gives you the directions. There's a drawing tool. So right now I'm on the brush color of black. I can make my brush size bigger if I want. And I could draw a circle. Um, bear with me. I don't have a touch screen, so I'm doing it with the mouse. I could draw a little person down here. Ooh. And I could use the eraser if I want to erase something. And they could draw and they could change the color. If you want to change the color over here. Oop, that's I'm on eraser. Make sure you switch back to draw it. <laughs> and um, you could add some drawings so if they want to add their own personal illustrations. Otherwise, there's a bunch of other features here. You could add a Buncee animation and say I want to say that I walked my dog to the park. I might search dog. And you'll see a bunch of different animations will pop up. And some of them are, these animations usually move. So you could hit play. And you could see what the dog does. Or just add it, I think. If you click on here and hit add one, it will add it to your Buncee. And it will move. And you can see the dog is walking right now over here. 
So you can add different animations here. And you can add as many animations as you want, as many different features to your page. And what I love about it is it really allows, if you're doing a writing piece, it allows the students to really have their writing come alive and add some extra features to it. You can add a bunch of, a Buncy sticker once again. There's a variety of different stickers. It will show you what's newly added. It will show you what's trending right now, what kids are really using at home. Um, St. Patrick's Day is up right now with everybody. So you can add different people. If I'm looking for um, a park or a slide, I could just search it right in the search bar. Let's see what comes up. You'll see a slide if you could add that. Oh, a bunch of different things. So I, I could just hit add one and I could make it bigger and show that my girl was going on the slide. And you could do a combination of images and drawings, whatever it might be. If you go over here as well, you could add a Buncy message or an emoji or an image online. Say you can't find a picture of a slide that you like, you could search it on the online. Um, you could add um, different images that might be uploaded or ready. You could upload your own image if you want to. Um, there's different images that you could have saved on your computer that you want to upload. You could do it that way. Um, you could record a video, which I love this feature. So for example, if I wrote a text, if my writing says, Today, I went to the park with my family. What I could do here is you could do a video or you could do your voice recording. You can select that and you could hit audio and this will come up and you could read what you wrote. So I wrote today, I went to the park. So you're going to hit allow. It can access your microphone and the students can read what they wrote in here. So after I hit the little record button, I could say, today I went to the park with my family. It will come up on the next screen. You're gonna hit upload. You could play it back. I went to the park with my family. You could add that on in. And now there's audio attached to that writing that you did. You could also add a video of you reading it. Today I went to the park with my family and that way it gets a little bit of the Flipgrid feel where the kids get to make a video. You could add a photo. You could take a photo on your computer and take a picture of you with your actual family, which is really neat. So it allows the student voice to really come alive. And if you add multiple pages to it and you continue writing, what I always encourage my students to do is add a QR code to the front page. That way down the road, if you want to print this out and share it with a family member, that way anyone who gets your printout, they could scan it and have access to your writing, which is really neat. If you want to send it or mail it to grandma, grandpa, aunt or uncle, if someone doesn't live with you at home, and you could share your amazing writing with them. So that was a quick little crash course on Buncy. And if you want the next thing, you could do the same thing and add any of these unique features. So what I really encourage my students to do is to add the text first and then draw after and make sure that your images are matching and your illustrations are matching your writing. When you're done, you could just quickly hit share and um, you can share it. It says it's not co commentable or copy. Just turn this on. That way your teacher can comment on it. And you, like just like mine says share with students, the student would have an option to share it with your teacher. So you would hit share with your teacher, select your teacher's name, and then she'll get an email or he'll get an email and show that your writing piece is ready to go. And when you're done, you could preview what it would look like in um, it, what it would look like. And you could see, you could hit play and it would read your writing and you could go through the different pages. And if I had more writing, you would see more there. And like I said, you could write as many different writing pieces as you want, Bunty doesn't give you a number of Buncees that you could create to so continue to create over and over again. And if your teacher states that she shared a Buncee with you that she wants you to add to, you could access it right with shared with me. And right down here, you'll get any of the Buncees that a teacher shared with you on there. So that's a little crash course on Buncee. And I hope you boys and girls have a bunch of fun creating and being authors and illustrators. And you enjoy this.